Kmart and Target are two of the most visible and famous retail brands ever to exist in the United States of America. One of these two is all but wiped off the face of the map. The other one, a fairly successful company. But on the other side of the globe, both these stores exist as well, and have taken quite different paths than their American versions. But why is this? Why is it that these two stores, that have basically no international presence, have very similar looking counterparts all the way on the other side of the globe, one of which now being many times larger than the original? This is why there's Kmart and Target in Australia. Despite Kmart existing for many years under the name SS Kresge, it would not become known under the name Kmart until the 1960s. It would not be long after though, in Kmart's early days, that Kmart would enter into an agreement with a company located in Australia of all places, G.J. Coles and Coy Limited. Kmart's parent company, SS Kresge, would allow Kmart's to expand to Australia with a slight majority ownership, with G.J. Coles and Coy owning the rest. Thus, the American version of Kmart would expand to Australia though with heavy ownership and influence from an Australian company. This arrangement would stay put for a decade. SS Kresge would be renamed Kmart Corporation in 1977, and the following year it would cede control to the Australian ownership group in exchange for a modest ownership stake in the Australian store Coles. Meaning Kmart Corporation has not had any direct ownership in Kmart Australia since 1978. In 1994, likely due to the fact that Kmart Corporation was struggling at the time, it would sell off its stake in Coles, meaning any affiliation even with Kmart Australia, or those that were running it, has been gone for 30 years now. Ever since, Kmart Australia has struggled some and changed ownership, but it has grown while the original and American version has failed, now down to the single digits in store count. While Kmart Australia has expanded to New Zealand, and has 325 stores. The 1960s would see the birth of another Australian store that would have the same name as an American store as well, though this one was never affiliated with the American version, and that is Target. The American version of Target began under this name in 1962, after many decades of the store being known as Dayton's. Target Australia would begin in the 1920s as Lindsay's, and would be given the name Target in 1970. Eventually, the two companies would have very similar logos. This company would grow off of a discount store model, and eventually would be bought by West Farmers in 2007, which just so happened to own Kmart Australia at this point in time as well. These two companies, very much in image like Kmart and Target in America, would chart their own paths, and each one would be quite different than their American counterparts. But why did all this happen in the first place? While it's clear Kmart's disassociation with Kmart Corporation of America would definitely be a big reason why it's still around, why is there a nearly identical looking target on the other side of the world that has nothing to do with the American one? Especially when companies like Domino Sugar will sue Domino's Pizza over a trademark dispute. That one was dismissed on appeal in 1980, but the reason there's a very similar looking target in Australia to the American one is simpler than you think. First of all, in the early days, both of these companies were very small. However, there was somewhat of an informal agreement between the two that Australia could have a store of a similar likeness even though the American version came first. In addition, trademarks are only good in the countries that they're filed in. These two stores are thousands of miles apart and both only operate stores in one country. Therefore, the impact and likelihood of mixing the two up is minimal. It's also very unlikely that the two will ever cross paths in a physical retail footprint, as Target's last attempt at going international resulted in a loss of billions of dollars when it tried and failed to expand to Canada from 2013 to 15. It's possible Target Australia may not even exist much longer, as they have undergone a massive decline since 2020. Less than half the locations in 2020 exist today. Some became Kmarts and many closed, which takes us back to Kmart. Why has this Kmart succeeded while the American version failed? Well, aside from being a totally different company, retail in Australia is very different than retail in America, with many different competitors, with many major American chains not existing there, such as Home Depot, Lowe's, or Target US. Kmart and Target are owned by and supported by a successful company with deep pockets in West Farmers. It is interesting to note, though, 
that the fates of the two have been opposite in America versus Australia, with Australia's Kmart being successful while the American version is nearly gone. While the American version of Target is successful, but the Australian one has not been of late. One of the more strange arrangements in retail, the names live on, even if they're not exactly what you think. Thank you for watching.